Trinity, Google is collecting so much data knowledge. How can this data be used to accelerate the energy transition? Well, I'm so glad you asked that, Doris. Um, the, the, the amazing thing about energy is that it connects all industries um, and uh, every organization, uh, every person in the world uh, leverages the things that come from this industry and it powers our world in a variety of different ways. And that means that, uh, that in order to change um, the systems that are in place, um, it has to be connected across all, all industries, all sectors, all regions. And so uh, the industry has an opportunity to be the great unifier and so does data. And so what we're able to do is, uh, is, is kind of bring all these different components together that bring the contextual insights, uh, that bring new innovations, um, that bring uh, uh, a data-backed choice, uh, and and this is really how uh, things can can progress. Right now, we have a lot of silos. Uh, we have a lot of, um, uh, and that can be in industries. It can be in data. It can be uh, in just uh, just the way that we operate and go through certain processes. But the opportunity is uh, is really to uh, open up information organize it, you know, that's what Google does, right, in our core competency, and, and make it universally accessible and useful. And what that can do for the energy transition is break down those silos, open up those uh, efficiencies, create the contextual insight that we need to make decisions, and, uh, and, and accelerate innovation. So it, it really is the like energy, the connection piece to all things, uh, and, and the only way forward. How much has been done so far? Well, uh, since it's Google's core competency, we've been working on this quite a bit. Uh, when when uh, just from the inception of our company, right? Our core mission is to organize the world's information. So when you think across search, that's what we're kind of good at. We're kind of good at uh, spanning the vast uh, the, the vast ends of the of the never-ending internet and and organizing it and making it accessible, accessible by just typing in a couple of words. Uh, and so it, it, as we have a sort of evolved as an organization, we started doing more than that. So integrating things like all the public data sets that are available, uh, geospatial imagery that's available, um, and then thinking about how we can use the data that we have in new and creative ways to do things like monitor deforestation or uh, or understand building volumes and energy uh, and carbon intensity of those buildings and uh, help cities uh, track and, and understand carbon emissions. How we do that is by taking all these data components that we've had for a long time and using them in new and creative ways. And because uh, Google is sort of famously known for liking to solve big problems, we've been working on these in a variety of, uh, of forms and fashions uh, just because it's kind of core intrinsic in what we do. That said, we have a long way to go and, and, uh, and Google, even with all of the data that we have uh, and have access to and even all of our expertise, we can't do it alone. It requires, uh, it requires collaboration, it requires uh, other organizations to join and share and integrate their data. Um, so there, there's a lot that still has to be done and you know, no pressure, but we have a bit of a short time to do it. So uh, although I'm inspired and excited about what we've accomplished, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can accomplish even more. If you can make a radical change okay. tomorrow, what would that be? Well, I wish that I could say, you know what, I would just wave this uh, magic uh, technology wand and uh, all of the all of this, all of the things would be fixed. But really, if I could make one radical change, uh, it would be uh, it would be in awareness and uh, unity and vision of purpose. I think that um, we often talk about uh, 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 climate and um, and sustainability in terms of uh, what we need to do for the planet. Um, but it's really what we need to do for humanity. And, uh, and the, the planet will survive. We just may not be able to, uh, to survive well on it. And so um, uh, the, the urgency around that 
and, uh, and the awareness that it isn't a zero sum game. It's not the planet or profit. These things are interdependent. And, uh, and the, the way that we can drive profitability for organizations is, uh, is by acting uh, quickly and with purpose and uh, in a unified and collaborative fashion to, um, to, to drive the change that's needed. And again, it's, it's a variety of components that have to come together, but I think the first thing that has to come together is that we all need to have that awareness and recognize that uh, it's by working together uh, in, a, in a singular vision uh, that, uh, that is really what's gonna drive the change and opportunity. Looking forward to continue the discussions in Vancouver and uh, see you everyone in Vancouver to join the discussion and discuss our future together.